my name is Codlon239, welcome back to another video. Today in this one I'm doing another box opening and in this one we are opening up Valiant Smashers. This is the newest set that has been released in Yu-Gi-Oh! and it's uh, it's all right. It's it's not the best in the world. Again, this ain't like the Age of Overlord. This ain't the 25th anniversary, you know, but it is a new set. Um, so in this, we're kind of just looking for like the Centurion stuff. I'll take some of the Memento stuff as well. If we could pull a Collector Rare, that would be cool as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into the opening. So got my handy dandy knife here to open the box. All right. I always say I should do this before but I never do, and I, I probably should, because this fucking takes forever to do. We'll put the trash over here, it's fine. Cool, open up the box, and then we'll throw the box at the edge over here. Alrighty, let's start off with our first pack. Okay, so again, I covered a lot of this last week, of uh, what the new sets are trying to do and stuff like that. So we got Memento Goblin, uh, Arch Nemesis Ekotos. Again, it's not Protos, but you know, it's still something, I guess. Uh, Weasel, uh, <laughs> They reprinted Spooky Dogwood. I mean, I guess I guess that's something, right? Oh my god, and we got a Ultra Rare to start off the bat, Primera. Okay, I mean, that's very important if you're going to play the Centurion stuff. So, I will gladly take it. But again, the thing I hate, we got Trick Clown and the fucking Memento Field Spell as well. The thing I hate about this set is like the Centurion stuff is obviously the best stuff in the set. And they made like... All the monsters like ultra rares, which is like kind of dumb, and the fucking synchro as well, and one of the fucking quick play spells, which is like insane. I don't know what that that's just gonna make fucking that deck so expensive. It's not even the greatest thing in the format, too. So I don't know, uh, it's all right. Uh, gravity collapse, dark honest, uh, memento dark played as our super rare there, and then just a couple more reprints. I mean, there can only be one in here, it's always something, I guess, right? All righty, next pack up. I think it's, I believe, three Ultra Rares per box. I, I, I forget how these uh, deck building sets go. I think it's something like that. So we got Equitos again. We got the Berserker of the Tinny. And then we got the Horse, the guy I could not pronounce in Memento. But uh, I'll gladly take it if I want to build this deck. It's very important. And we got a Baguska. Baguska got reprinted again. What the fuck? Okay, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. It's a generic extra deck monster we can make. Cool. Next pack. Okay, so we got a Foolish Burial, which I'll gladly take, because for some reason, I don't know where the fuck my Foolish Burials went. Oh, we got Swamp TDD, we got fucking Dogwood again. I think we're getting Ultra Rare. Oh, I think it's actually a Collector Rare, because I can see a Shininess behind this Call of the Haunted. Let's see what we get. Ooh, we got a Memento Dark Blade as our Collector Rare. Again, I don't know if the camera kind of gives it, like, it, it's shiny, it's there. I mean... It's a collector rare. We'll take it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the only collector rare I really want is like none of them. <laughs> I don't really need a collector rare out of this set. Hey, but we pulled one. So, I mean, I can't complain. I'll gladly take that. I probably should sleeve that up real quick. I have sleeves somewhere in here. Give me one second. Yeah, we'll just do these sleeves here. Cool. We'll sleeve up the ultra rare that we got and the uh, collector rare we got, which is the dark blade. Cool. All right. Next pack up here. Go. All right, we got the Memento Goblin, we got Avenged Draw, and we got Valmonica Chosen Melody as our super rare there, and then a couple other stuff. What the fuck is this card even do? That's fucking terrible. What the fuck? Okay, again, some weird reprints in this set, but I mean, I guess, I, again, it's not that great of a set, but we did pull a collector, so I mean, can't be complaining. I mean, yeah, I mean, but it's, again, not that great of a set. Just because the stuff you want is ultra rare, and there's only three ultra rares per box. We got Supply Squad. We got Gravity Collapse. We got Valhalla as our... So it looks like we're getting an ultra here. I think that's how this is working. We got Horn Dragon, and then a Valmonica Selecta. Um, again, kind of makes sense for me to get this. I talked a lot of shit about this. Uh, deck. I still don't think it's that great and of course they would of course I would pull one of them of course I mean, I guess I'll take it I guess it's the best spell out of all of them So I mean that's something so I guess I'll take it but again again that the sets not great I'm gonna be honest with you uh, But again, I like to do a box opening of each set. So we're gonna go with it I mean again, I pulled the collector. Rate. I can't be complaining. Can't not be complaining cool uh, transmission uh, 
Granol. We got the Counter Trap for Centurion. It's a true awakening there. That's pretty nice to pull. And then some other cards that are uh, reprints. Again, not really there. We're going to kind of cut skim forward now. Just because, I guess, like none of the rares. Again, we should be guaranteed play sets of all the rares. So all we're really looking for are the Supers and the Ultras. We got Bone back, which I think is a very good card for the deck. Uh, Supply Squad and Valmonica Versari as our super rare. And then a couple more. Again, more another fucking, there can only be one. Because that's a card that needs to be in existence. And Yu-Gi-Oh! is there can only be one. It's not actually not even that great. So I can't, I can't. Uh, next pack here. Uh, we got Goblin. We got the Swamp Deity. We got Centurion Phalanx as well. That's the other trap card for... Centurions will take it for sure. All right. I, again, I kind of like to keep things organized in the stack right here. I know you can't see it on screen, but I have it like right next to me. Uh, so that's kind of what's taking a little bit is I just like to organize all the supers and shit into a stack. Uh, we got the Arkatos, the Berserker of the Tangy, and Memento Mace as our super. Again, I will take it because I do like the Memento stuff, so gladly will take it. Alright, I think this is the final pack. No, we got a couple more packs actually in this side here. Alright. Foolish Burial. We went to Boneback and Angelil Valmonica is our super rare there. Again, not too great. Uh, again, we'll take it. Again, I don't think the Valmonica stuff is good. I really don't. I think it's really bad. Like, even with you splashing other stuff in it, I don't think it's that great. So, watch me pull a fucking ultra fucking. Whatever. I already pulled the fucking Ultra one already. What the fuck? Uh, Gravity Collapse, Transmission, uh, Synchro Transmission, and Stand Up Centurion. The important field spell that we need for the deck. So I will gladly take the Stand Up Centurion. Last pack on the right side here. Uh, let's see what we get. I don't think it's going to be anything interesting because this entire right side is going to be nice. Two Ultras and a Collector will gladly take it. Dark Honest, Granol, and True Awakening is our super rare. And then other cards. Hey, Honest is in here. I mean, it's long past due. I mean, Edison format reprints. Let's go. Colossal Fighter's in here as well. So that's pretty nice. Next pack up here. Alrighty. Foolish Burial. A Draco Berserker of the Tenny. And Demono Valamonica as our super rare there. And then, wow. Did they really reprint Call of the Haunted? That's, that's weird to see, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible. But, I mean, it's not a great... Passage front, maybe just another Edison reprint, I guess. All right, next pack here uh, Gravity Collapse, Granol, and then we have the uh, Heathen Hallow as our super, as the Link one. That's not the great one, it's the this is the light one, right? If I'm not mistaken, uh, they don't they want to do the Dark Link one because that's the one that can copy effects. I believe that's also a super, so I mean, probably will pull it in this set, hopefully. Uh, Advanced Draw, Dark Honest, and Centurion Bond. Not the greatest super rare in the world, so I mean, we'll, but I guess we'll still take it. So, not too bad. Again, this set's not that great. Just kind of just opening it. I mean, it's not like the 25th anniversary. I mean, no, nothing's going to beat that, right? But like, even Age was a lot better than this. I don't know. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, it's whatever. Uh, Memento Bone back. Uh, Memento Goblin, and there's the dark one that we needed for Velmonica, the Hollow Heathen. Again, this is the good Link one that they play, and they really need to get to as well in part of the archetype. Alrighty, next pack up here. Alrighty, so we got the Synchro Transmission, uh, the Swamp Deity, another Stand Up Centurion. Again, I will gladly take that, and then other cards that are pretty worthless to us. Kind of just organizing the stack here, sorry. Alright, next pack. Alrighty, we got a Supply Squad, Memento Boneback, Valmonica, and Tonari, which is, I don't know, it's not great for the archetype to only play like one of it if they're going to play it, so not too bad there. My little cat in the background. Next pack up. Cool, cool, cool. We got the Drago Berserker of the Tenny, Advanced Draw, and Valmonica Followed Rhythm. This is the best trap card for the archetype. Gladly will take it if it ever becomes playable. All right, I think we got three more packs in here. Kind of just skimming along here, trying to get that last ultra rare that we need. 
All right, Memento Goblin, Foolish Burial, Valhalla. Okay, so this is going to be the ultra rare pack. Let's see what we get. We got the Imperial Custom. Oh, Centurion Legetia as our ultra rare. We'll gladly take that. That is the... So we pulled two of the Centurion cards out of one box. That is fucking insane. We'll gladly take that. I need a sleeve for this. Let me get it real quick. Alrighty, put that in there. Cool, alrighty. Um, oh, we actually have three more packs. So, uh, so three more packs. Again, we shouldn't really pull anything unless we get a fourth ultra for some reason, which I don't think is likely. Uh, okay, so we kind of just skip through this. We got a Dark Honest, a Ekatos, uh, in the Centurion uh, trap card, and then some other cards that we've already had a play set of, so no worries about that. Next pack here. We got Synchro Transmission, Mechlord Granul, and Memento Mace. I will take that as well, just because I like the Memento stuff. Want to pick up everything for the archetype. Okay, last pack coming up now. Again, shouldn't pull anything. Already have everything that is guaranteed in the set. And we pulled the Collector, so I mean, that's insane too. Uh, okay, last pack. Uh, Swamp Deity, Supply Squad, and Valmonica Versari as our super rare. And then a couple other stuff so overall not that great of a uh set i mean we pulled good i can't complain about the pools i mean we pulled two of the centurion stuff which is nice because that's like the best stuff out of the set we pulled a collector rare mementilon dark blade as well so we pulled the collector as well but overall the set's just not that great to be honest with you so but i mean i enjoyed it i pulled pretty well as well i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye